Welcome to my first tutorial on sprite editing. I'm not a master at tutorials, so I will sound goofy as hell, and I won't know what I'm talking about. I just know how to do what I do, so bear with me. I get all my sprites from MortalCombatWarehouse.com, and I simply drag and drop in here. So I'll just go through that. I want to edit this sprite, so I'll click, drag, drop. Now this magic wand tool here allows me to select specific colors and its tolerance can be changed. The higher the number, the more colors it gets. The less, it gets the exact same color. Contiguous means the colors have to be next to each other. So if I click here, it'll only select this gray. If I deselect contiguous and I select that color again, it selects all the colors in this image that match. So to get rid of this background, I hit Control A to select the whole image. I hit Control again, you'll see the minus sign next to the magic wand. I click the background, copy and paste it as a new image. I'm sure there are better ways to do this. That's just how I work. So I like to work in a blue background, dark blue. It helps me see what I'm doing, especially when the sprites are yellow or some other color. Now I work in layers and I use a lot of shortcuts. So pardon me if I forget to tell you what I'm doing. So I go to layers to merge and I flatten everything. So what a layer is, I'll show you an example. I use a paintbrush. Actually, let me just go through the tools first. This here is the selection tool. So you can select something and move it around. And this is why I like layers. This freehand selection allows me to select specific areas of a sprite if I want to move it. And I also can do point to point, so I can draw some shape if I need to. And Smart Edge, which uses some algorithm to say, hey, let me find the edge for you. And obviously, it's not the best at finding edges, so I never use that. I usually use freehand and point to point. Edge Seeker is similar, but it just isn't always the most accurate. The next tool is the dropper tool. It'll select a color that you want. So I want this red color, and I can go to my paintbrush by pushing B, and I'll use that color. Color replacer I don't use, paintbrush. The size obviously changes the size. The hardness, as you can see, it's not, it has this little fade around it. The harder it is, the less fade there is. I usually leave it at 50 when I'm editing. I don't mess with step, I don't mess with density, opacity, I do mess with how opaque is it. And number one, you can barely see. This clone brush is good for repeating certain patterns. So if I select it and right click, and then I left click, it'll repeat starting from wherever you right clicked. That's good for situations where perhaps you want to repeat the pattern in his clothes and make it longer. But of course you can see this repetition looks hideous so you'd eventually want to get rid of what looks bad. This burn, dodge are very very good for shading. For example, let's say we want the light source to be stronger in his pants. I left click when using this dodge and you will see the pants getting lighter. Right clicking 
when this is selected, we'll do the burn. You can make pixels darker, make it more shaded. Now this specific tool darkens the exact pixels. You can also use the paintbrush and select black as your color if you want to apply that to make things darker. The difference is the black averages out between the color you're selecting and the color you're drawing over while the dodge and burn tool darken and lighten that specific color. There is a difference and I'll show you. This is what happens with dodge. It kind of burns the color if you will. Now if I just were to use black it does not quite have the same effect. It's merging the two colors together as opposed to darkening the color. This stuff I don't use. Soften is just a way of blurring things. I don't really use it. Sharpen. If your image is blurry, you could sharpen it, but this is as good as it gets. So sharpening really destroys your image, depending on how sharp it already is. Uh, eraser I use. We'll get into how good that is. For example, uh, we'll need to get into layers first. So those are the main tools I use. This is the flood, which is just a paint bucket that you're dropping colors on. It'll change the entire color that it's touching that color. So left clicking, if you follow my mouse here, left clicking does this color. Right clicking does that color. So right click white, left click black. Here are all your billions of colors or however the hell many there are. And that's pretty much it as far as the tools are. So when I come back, I will change this sprite into a new move by Franken spriting, which is just a way of cutting apart sprites to make a new pose. All right, so layers, a lesson that I had to learn the hard way. Suppose I want to draw some blood on this poor scorpion. And maybe he's shitting out blood. Ah! <laughs> Let's see, I don't like the way it looks. Can I move this? No. No, I can't. What I just did is a permanent fucking change. Unless I hit Control Z. But maybe I like the blood. I just wanted it up more. The only way to deal with this problem is to go to Layers, New Layer. And for now, we'll just click OK. Now we can make Scorpion poop brown this time. Oh, this I don't like the way this looks. So since it's in a new layer, I can move it around without affecting everything behind it. And I also work with my characters. I'm going to merge and flatten this again. The, the shortcut's Alt-L-M-M. -M. Now I select all, Control-A, hit Control, left click, cut Scorpion out. Uh, hit F, hit Control, and it'll bring my little dropper tool here to select this color. Get rid of that. Make my layer again. I got Scorpion here. And I can move him anywhere in the background, and I don't have to worry about the blue going with him. So that's the whole point of layers, is you can draw things and move it around. Uh, Scorpion's on a layer. I make a new layer. Maybe he's peeing this time at his opponent. And we'll just move the pee around however we want it. So I will always say work in layers. Even if you're editing like blood on their skin. Layers. Everything layers until you're satisfied. That's a 
terrible red. Let's see, he has a cut in his arm. Oh, he has a poor cut. Uh, maybe I don't want it there. I want it here or there. I'm sure you get the point by now. And also, when you're saving files, save every five minutes if you can. Because there's so many times you make a mistake and you want to go back. And it's not pretty to go through this entire history log to find your mistakes. And I'll show you an example. For example, when I do fake, let's look at my Devora. I have five saves here. When it started out like this, uh, where the hell? Then this happened, and this happened, and this happened, and this happened. It's just a good habit to make a history of your edits. And everyone just saw a preview of one of my fakes. Congratulations. So, I'll end this tutorial here. And the next one will be actually doing some Franken-spriting and changing the costume. And we'll probably make one of my favorite bots, bot sprites. And I just realized I wasn't talking to my goddamn microphone. So sorry if you couldn't hear me.